Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. Tonight's video, I just want to cover Bitcoin Cash as we're obviously reading a lot of headlines today and a lot of confusion in this space. So I just want to first go over a bit of a background into where we are in the whole scaling debate and please watch my video about the Bitcoin hard fork, what you need to know if you haven't already is that this video is going to build on that um, slightly. But So Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Cash is going to be a completely new coin so it's going to be a hard fork of the bitcoin network and i'm going to cover the players that are involved here and how this has come about okay so recently we locked in the segwit um bit 91 so that that was the a really positive step and i said at the time this is one of the best outcomes we could have hoped for is we we go straight down here to the November 1st and we skip a lot of this mess that we were worried about okay so we're worrying about the the Bitcoin network splitting and, and we avoided a lot of that so what we're seeing now is that of the last 144 blocks mined with 100% of miners are signaling that bit 141 the segwit okay and the intention to support it which is really good and further down the track if we want to um, employ the segwit 2x part as well We've seen that 86% of miners are um, signaling their in intention to um, activate the 2x part of that SegWit upgrade as well. So everything looked like it was going to go to plan. Um, it was all playing out really well, but then out of left field, we've had this um, Chinese m miners, and I'll talk about who's involved, come out here and start pushing this idea of Bitcoin Cash and, and they're, that they're going to support it. So. So who's involved here? So the main players are Bitmain, and Bitmain are just a giant of the mining world um, based in China. So Bitmain make the um, ASIC um, Bitcoin mining chips, okay? They they run Antpool, Hashnest, and BTC.com. And if we just have a quick look at um, the hash power here of the total Bitcoin network, Antpool alone and BTC.com, those two together make up a third of the Bitcoin hash power. So this is really important if these guys are going to start talking about possibly supporting Bitcoin Cash, it, it does matter. So that's just the first thing to keep in mind that Bitmain are, are a large company that run large, large mining pools okay, in China. So Now recently, I just want to give you an insight into the background as to why I think these relationships and via BTC exchange coming out recently and um, introducing the Bitcoin Cash trading future. So they're basically letting people speculate on the price of what they think Bitcoin Cash will be in the future with a, with a futures market. And let's just remember that Bitcoin Cash doesn't exist yet. This is talking about possibly what could exist if we get a hard fork in the future. So now this is why I think it could be a little bit um, malevolent or even nefarious in nature. I think these guys are testing the waters to see how the market is going to react to the idea of a, of a hard fork. And these, I guess they're trying to push this to get a bigger um, increase in block size. And that's what this is all sort of coming down to. And I, try, I want to try and make this video as politically neutral as possible. But it seems to me that this is very rushed and illogical and I don't support this at all. So Now recently, Bit, Bitmain, that company I just spoke about, they funded via BTC and via BTC was a smaller mining pool, but they've, they've launched a trading exchange in China. So these guys have a relationship, a business relationship, an investing relationship. So just keep that in your mind as well as we um, continue with this discussion. So just down the bottom here, I just want to go over a few points here. So. Fire BTC is not owned by Bitmain. They are just invested in our new business and we are 100% independent from that company. So, okay, they're saying that they're independent, but when they've funded you and there's a working relationship there, okay, you've got to question their motives. So, Right, so this is the next part I want to get to. Sorry, so here are some qu clarifications regarding Bitmain, that large mining company. Um, their current stance. So Bitmain and via BTC only share an investment relationship. 
in which Via BTC operates independently. The founder of um, Via BTC has 10 times more voting rights than the investors, the money behind that helped launch the exchange. Therefore, their position does not represent Bitmain's stance. And again, I'd, I'd sort of question this as to all the action that we're seeing at the moment. So now the New York agreement um, was, a, was a big effort by all the sort of the global Bitcoin community, a lot of big players that are trying to keep what's the best interests of Bitcoin um, and that's a, a general blanket statement, but that's the direction they're trying to take um, Bitcoin. And those guys got together and agreed. Um, they signed an agreement. Okay, Bitmain, that large company, was one of those that actively supported a smooth transition. So they want to they wanted to implement the SegWit and the two X part and continue to run the um, the main software on all their mining pools, Ant Pool that I just mentioned, and BTC.com for the foreseeable future. But they also said we're closely observing the BCC movement and do not rule out the possibility of supporting both the main network in the future and a hard fork of the network. And that's where this is getting a bit confusing. And what the biggest mining pool in the world says they want to see Bitcoin um, not volatile, they want to see a smooth transition, and then they come out and say, but we might support a hard fork. Okay, that's what's causing this confusion in the market. So so where does this leave us? So we've seen this a bit before and I spoke about this in my previous video, but what the market is now trying to price in is what we saw with Ethereum. So the main Ethereum network did a hard fork. They rolled back the $150 million um, hacker theft or bug that he found in the network. And there was a small group of people that said, we don't support the hard fork and rolling back that $150 million theft. We, and then everyone thought that ETH network was going to transition smoothly. But sure enough, we saw... a a few players come out and a bit of a bit of pumping on Twitter by certain individuals that I won't name, and they went behind the back of a lot of people. And um, Poloniex listed Ethereum Classic, and that it was only needed that bit of hype and a, a bit of manipulation, and for one exchange to list it, and and then all of a sudden it gained roots, and it and before we knew it, there was a small percentage of miners that mined Ethereum Classic as well as Ethereum, and. What the market's now trying to price in is what percent of the total market cap is going to go into each coin. And and what we're seeing at the moment is that here's a chart of the um, BCC price um, in Chinese yuan, but we're seeing hearing around $500 um, US and obviously that means that it's capturing about it let's say $3,000 is a round number. It's capturing a sixth of the market cap and I believe that's a gross overstatement of what a of what it would capture if it if it where there was a hard fork and b of the chances of this even happening and I just want to remind you guys that if this does happen in a worst case scenario that it does hard fork you own both coins okay you don't get more money because that market cap splits down the middle and as I said in my previous video on this day Ethereum might have been thirteen dollars and the main network captures ten dollars of value the hard fork captures that other $3 of value. But what we're seeing at the moment is a lot of exchanges, Coinbase, okay, a lot of wallets, they haven't put out statements yet about if they're going to support BCC and if you'll get both coins automatically on their wallet or their exchange. And Coinbase has said they're not going to support BCC. They don't support the idea of it at all, okay? They're going to steer clear over it. So the main point I want to drive home here is get your Bitcoins off these exchanges and Make sure you hold your own private keys and that way you can put it into a wallet that will automatically split it for you or we'll see splitters come out that will split your coins if it does happen, the hard fork into Bitcoin and BCC, Bitcoin Cash, and they'll do it for you. But you don't want to have your coins stuck on an exchange that doesn't support this and create more confusion down the line. So just finally, I wanted to to touch on one more thing and this is a poll that Jimmy Song, who's a real guru in the Bitcoin world, um, he put out this poll today. So, what percent of the hashing power and what percent of that market cap do we think that Bitcoin Cash can realistically capture? So, and what he's saying here is basically that pe the majority of people saying it's going to be less than less than a hundred to one. Okay, let's. This is still a really a long way off being a, a real realistic chance of occurring, I guess so. 
well, there we see 26 percent of people saying somewhere between maybe 100 to 1 and 10 to 1 but the vast majority of people saying this is a less than 100 to 1 chance of happening or less than if it does happen it's going to be less than 100 to 1 of the market cap that they're going to capture so when i see bitcoin make a 200 dollar 300 dollar plunge move today and that represents 10 percent okay it's a little bit irrational. It is people panicking somewhat. And like I said, even in a worst case scenario, if this does happen, you get both coins. And if one coin's valued at $500 on, on that other market, Bitcoin Cash, if that's what people are going to be willing to pay for it and the, the true Bitcoin is still trading for um, 2700 you automatically have 3200 of value total. And that's why I don't believe that futures market for BCC is a true representation of price so I know I've covered a lot there watch this video again if you want to um, go over the ideas again and as I said please watch my um, first video the Bitcoin hard fork what to, you need to know as that covers a lot of this these ideas as well so as always thanks for tuning in please give us a like subscribe if you haven't already um, and obviously I have my VIP members um, for $25 a month with a link down below if you'd be interested in joining that coaching service as well. So thanks for tuning in, guys.